So we'll start, Sir George, with yourself, if you want to just tell us a little bit um, the name of your film and really how it all came to be. All right, yeah, sure. All right, so my film's called Every Road uh, by Native in the Name. Uh, It was a music video for the band called Native in the Name, and the song was called Every Road. And um, it was a bit of an odd project. It was kind of something I was doing um, over a year during uni. Yeah. And uh, it, it was... It was one of those projects which I just animated without really thinking about the structure of. And um, I started to feel a little bit lost with it. So I, I, I added the, the music that I eventually came onto it like in, as kind of a last minute step. And I realized how well it syncs and works well as a music video as opposed to just a, a story. Yeah. Um, was it something then, I know you were saying it's kind of, a long time in the making as such but then did you find having yourself with more time then over the last few months or and did that <laughs> did that enable you to perfect it in a way uh, i suppose so i was surprising that i didn't do that much work on it during lockdown i kind of it was it was there in the back of my mind and i was like i really got to finish this project so i can start a new project um without feeling disappointed in myself and um, so turning it into a music video was kind of my way of wrapping it up yeah. Um, but it is a part of something bigger, actually. It's um, It was kind of a follow-up to a film I made um, a year ago. And it's kind of based in that same universe. And it, it's not actually fully finished, to be honest. The story continues. Yeah. Although like, it's satisfying to watch on its own, I think. I, I hope so, anyway. Well, that's actually interesting to know as well in terms of the story continuing. Um, because not you know some films, you can just draw a line under them. Um, and that's, mm. I suppose, with a, a, a film that is a short film as such, um, there is scope then to, to further tell the story and to develop it as well. Yeah, absolutely. And it, I don't know if you noticed at the end, but he doesn't really quite get his revenge. So hopefully that will uh, eventually be fleshed out in another film. But something that's planned out a bit better and a bit less um, chaotic, I hope. <laughs> Well, um, it impressed Cinemagic anyway in terms of being shortlisted and um, it, sometimes it is even more challenging and difficult to get a film, a short film made that is, that has a short duration, um, you know, and trying to get it across in, you know, a, a shorter amount of time as well. Um, so thank you and um, we look forward then to, to seeing more from, from you in terms of your work and is film making something that you're very much um, wanting to pursue? You know, is there a particular area that you'd like to work more on within the world of film? Absolutely, yeah, hundred um, percent. Mostly animation at the moment, but really, I'd, yeah, I'm interested in all kind of um, films. So, I guess eventually, I'd I'd, I'd like to be the director because I really like um, to be in control of the characters and the the worlds they're in. Uh, animation's kind of just uh, my starting point since it's something you can do on your own. You don't need to rely on actors and sets. Yeah. Um, mostly characters are the things that fascinate me the most, I think. And that's something too that you can c- continue on developing or if you have a character in mind, they can mm-hmm. be woven through a number of different stories as well, for example. Um, and you can follow a journey and sort of develop a story that way. Um, well, great, thank you. Um, Thanks for joining us. Um, and over to you now then, uh, Jules, if you can let us know a bit about how your film came to be and um, if there were any challenges in, in making it. Sure, yeah. Yeah, so my film's called You Dance in the Dark and it's the music video for the song of the same title that I produced. Um, so I really enjoy making music and film. And um, so this project was kind of an idea for quite a while after I made the song and um, then it kind of, kind of came together um, at the end of 2019 is when I started making it and um, it's a, kind of probably a longer music video than it's nine minutes so it's kind of long for a music video um, but I wanted it to be longer and um, it's basically celebrating like the energy of electronica and electronic dance music. And um, yeah, it's a really high energy thing. So I kind of just wanted it to be 
kind of like a amusement park ride for the viewer, you know, um, something fun to watch and, you know, inspirational uh, creatively. And um, so fortunately I was done shooting before the pandemic kind of affected the UK, but I pretty much spent all of my, all of the post-production in, you know, quarantine. So um, it helped because I had a lot more time to edit and everything. So um, for me, actually, the situation kind of helped. But um, yeah, I finished it in June. So yeah, um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun to make. And um, so yeah, it's just about the, you know, high energy, intense stuff and dance music and um, a lot of vibrant colors and, you know, kind of a chromatic aesthetic which is what I like so yeah hopefully it's fun for people to watch absolutely and it's something as well just within this category you know that we were very much keen on including as part of the young filmmaker showcase and um you know a, a lot of the films obviously are more about drama and about serious issues and everything in between and um you know, the art form of a music video, a film told through music is something that we really want to acknowledge as well. And, you know, there is a clear, um, yeah. a clear niche area, obviously, for that type of film and filmmaking. Um, and yeah. to be included in the showcase, it is also going to probably attract audiences who may normally not choose to either sort of, you know, watch that type of film or even like be um, sort of, interested in music video as such um so we hope that you know the music video section will reach new audiences and different audiences and um you know give people sort of a, a wider choice as well in terms of what they're watching um yeah and is it a career for you are you working full-time in this at the moment or are you trying to sort um of yeah I'm, tr I'm basically um I'm doing lots of different things, but yeah, I love directing and you know I love music producing, so I really enjoy both. But uh, film director is my main goal, so I've been working towards that. Um, so yeah, I, I've had I've made some short films, and um, so this is about my third film that I've made. Um, yeah, so I'm here in London. I think it's a great center for film, and. Um, yeah, I love the culture here, and yeah, so I love everything about filmmaking, really. But yeah, my the career goal is directing and producing. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.